Blessed dear my people, so in today's video, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel, who is awaiting his freedom to do his medical surgery, and this is according to Isaac Buchanan. You don't know, Isaac did an interview yesterday, and he might talk about Vibes Cartel, health condition, and, you know, certain things were going on with the entertainer, and the man just awaited for him freedom right about now, you understand? So I'm giving you some more information on that. Also, we're going to talk about Joshian Silbars finally ending the feud, and you don't know, saying in the past, them did have them situation, and, you know, them do this track aimed at one another, but seem like the entertainers them now deal with unity which is something we would definitely have to promote also we're going to talk about elephant man revealing that he has 38 kids never knows how so much pitney elephant man have but on top of that him reveal same open for have more kids so it seems like elephant man a try farm a nation out there my people so i talk about it also we're going to talk about dancehall queen spice this in a female for styling her wig while on tiktok also spice get a lot of support from the people him while she's on tiktok all the people are giving gifts and all them thing there but some people feel like say it don't make sense giving like the entertainers them were done rich gift and there was like a big back and forth as it relates to that. So I talk about it. Also I gotta talk about Nigel Boy linking up with top American rapper Jim Jones. Also I gotta talk about Aisha na getting called out after leaving Footer Hype. And also I gotta talk about Ayak Tain defending Footer Hype after he was recently called a Batty Cup. Also I gotta talk about Rigging King officially ready to help the disabled community in Jamaica. So I'm actually launch a GoFundMe where people can donate and thing. So I talk about it. But before I'm going to further into the topics, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram page, MixUpTime4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Aisha and her name being called in relation to leaving footer hype scene. Now recently, a lot of persons been styling footer hype as body cop. Now you have an entertainer named Russian Music. He actually do a song and incorporate the whole, you know, body cop business at night. But also also the entertainer was was live on um I think her Instagram. Yeah. Um, and he might talk about Aisha and leaving footer hype and from Aisha and left footer hype he never seen with the next woman yet you know of course people always call Aisha and name no matter even if she try to avoid the situation fair name is like it will forever be called in relation to footer hype is it but you know my people I'm going to play that live here <laughs> only can tell me when you think that you are smart still because him no safe him call footer hype name People are gonna actually talk about him. I feel like if him did just do a regular song where him not talk about foot type none at all, nobody would not post him because our pink wall might actually see this live here and people obviously are react to it and thing. But anyway, they might actually get to the video now and only can tell me when they think about Russian music. I say, is it my people? Mm -hmm. In our real life, you see me? You can't accompany me there every day, they pump this body that. You have said, dance. Yo, remember say car tell them still they are bounty killer them still they are bad man. You see the young gun them they are our full of girl footer from Aisha and Alefe you know, have a girl bad man. We never see a girl yet <laughs> from Aisha and Alef yo. Ah uh, no in a real life. Okay, that me I tell you. Mm -hmm. I the girl them me I defend. Me not nah defend now man, me I defend the girl them in a real life. Fuck the I mean I defend that me I defend dance all where you say batty up dance all care batty up and you batty up for type as well as it gets I act in a free curious that me I tell you cause you a different man and you know you have your pan video and you am pussy and that thing there don't come try defend the man bad man and to you you run and come up in a camera and defend for the hype I want to act and be a very good self, yeah? Let's be honest. Chubum Bokla. Chubum Bokla. Can't be no body cap like foot a hype. For me, girl, them man for a while. I'm full of vibe. I'm not a man of my dog. I'm full of vibe. Full of vibe. Fuck up the club. Yeah, man. So that is what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> boy, oh, boy. I don't go around here. I don't like how the people in my style of foot type still. You see me? I don't go come and bunny mode people. You see it? If you want forward and defend straightness, nothing wrong with that. You understand? I don't say sometimes I maybe, you know, say certain things that I don't agree with. But at the end of the day, still foot type and defend man and woman being together. You understand what I say? So, I can't bunny mode still. But at the same time, I say it in a video before, I go say it again. I don't go use my platform for blaze a fire upon them because at the end of the day, for me, they're on the left 
on them, they're on the right. Me not care about a guy and him lifestyle, is it? Don't try to push it for me or try to even talk to me none at all. I'm a good, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And since we're talking about footer hype, I act in actually a different footer hype. Me know only hear the video I play a while ago with the youth at this up. I act in. Yeah, man. So I act in forward out now and him a different footer hype and them thing there because at the end of the day, I act in and footer hype is good friends and it seems like them have a, you know, a mutual respect for each other. So I act in and say, yo, only for one, this a man where different righteousness and them thing there because all over on the internet, the people must style up footer hype, you know. Yeah, see it. So, let me get to that video here now. Only can tell me anything about this. Also, I'm going to show you a little piece of caption that was posted and thing. Um, on footer hype page. Watch this, my people. Get it. Straight nation set. Pussy we know. Are we now church? Now switch it up. Are we in the price race? Hey, me now. Me and some boy at our footer. What the police and bad or something. So, what police do? What police do to criminals? Police stop you from the ranks. No. So, if you are cost me, send me a police. Yeah. That mean I stop you from going and doing it. Yes, so Pull it. Boy. Pull it. You understand? Yeah. So, here was straight nation just straight up. Yeah, you have man out there who still love Pum Pum. We don't like and love, we love nah, you. Stop and love we not nah change. Yeah, yeah. You understand? We love. Yeah, and we not nah change. Now nah switch it up. And when you look at my policy, my policy. Like look at them. Blind them. Blind them. Look at you. No one will touch you for them here. Look at you. Hey, I want to Straight I have a problem with it. Me and someone are trying to justify it. Like, oh. Oh, you can't say this, you can't. Any money in here, sir? Them gone. I oh, oh, you are a designer. Oh. My sir, them gone. Pussy, we love. And we not change. <laughs> no, so, hey. <laughs> Yeah man, so in the caption, Futter Hype said, Dead with laugh, grand rising, straight nation. The boy, they must show up themselves. Them gone, gone, gone. You see it? So that's our Futter Hype officer. Basically, anybody who will go against what he must say is obviously showing up themselves. And, you know, that's basically it. <laughs> Oh boy, people, me have really laugh. Me don't know where people get that name they're from still, you know, trust me. Anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice, who was on TikTok last night. Now, Spice got a lot of support over there where people are sending her gifts and them thing there. A matter of fact, this video is going to be a two-part video. One part is where people are sending her really a gift, like me say, but there was like a big back and forth in the comment section over from Pinkwall, where some persons are saying, why? them a give spice and she don't have money already and all them thing there while some persons are say well maybe some of the people them who are gift her them done rich already and you can't really tell people what to do with them money so I'm going to show you that video there and show you some of the comments them and thing but the first part I'm really going to play is when spice have to put a female in her place because the female has a spice always are wear the same wig throughout the four seasons and of course you know what uh, about spring summer fall and winter you see it so you don't know spice have to disarray up and say my girl I want to show you in my closet or uh, wherever she says she want to show her how she have different different type of wigs and all them things there you see because I don't know blue or uh, spice color that and some people might feel like say, the same wig she have or whatever but anyway I'm going to run a clip here and then we'll just move on to the next clip watch this my people um what's your name what's your name think 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 turn this down turn this down um turn that down look a bit you um think smith 89 where you said that I have under wig for four seasons. You see, just because I'm blood clot you when I reach my yard, I'm going to show you the closet in my house and the salon with my wig them. You stink like Wow. wow. You stink like wow. Oh, this wow. girl. Wow. 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 Hey, girl, you stink wow. like a wow. toilet. Wow. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Mm. Oh, my soul. I said, I do screenshot your comment. You see, when I post my wig closet. Yeah, man, so... <laughs> Yeah, man, so what is the war going? Big up spice here, man. You see it. At the end of the day, still, nobody can really think of the same week spice have on right throughout the year. Come on, man. But, you know, of course, you got to have the trolls them over there, you know, trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. As I go. Any anyway, of my people, let me know anything about that. So, the next part of the video now is where spice was getting like a whole lot of gifts. You see it, my people. She did get a whole heap of gifts over there. And some persons think that it doesn't make sense for gift spice over upon TikTok because she done rich already. So, I run that clip here and then I go show you some of the comments. Only can tell me what you think in the comment section. Welcome, Queen. First time hey, using hey, TikTok. Hey, I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I, what's that? that? Oh, I want that. Okay. They gave you a big idea. <laughs> I like it. Send the hat in the face. I like it. Wow. 
Rhonda. Rhonda, I like that hat. She loved the hat in the shades. Girl. I met shades. How them do that? Send her the shades. Send her the shades. Oh, you see they going when well, you like Oh, you like that. Oh, uh, wait, you like that rich no blood yeah. clad. Rhonda is not oh, playing. They going to get you. Like you like that. I'm start. I'm going to get you. You like that. No matter that. I'm going to get you. Like that. I want to. They going to get each other. Tell them thank you, though. Keep telling them thank you. Thank you, bestie. Big up you, Liza. Summer, big up yourself. Rhonda. Trina, big up yourself. Fluffy, 1975, big up yourself. I like that glass itself on my face. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Christy, big up yourself. Lisa, big up yourself. Jason, Marie, big up yourself. Tiffany, Kendra, blood clot. The best is them I get mad in here for now. Yeah, man. So, over upon um, Pinkwall, that video was actually posted, right? So, somebody said, sending rich people gifts is so funny to me. Somebody say, you, you guys don't think some of the gifters are rich, are also rich people, are just people that have it and can give. Somebody said, the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer. Ah <laughs> oh boy, somebody say, today I realize how weird my people are sending rich people money, LOL. Somebody say, why do people find it appropriate to fuss about what other people want to do with their own money? I just don't get it. Why are people so miserable? If Spice fans want to appreciate her, why not? I don't see anyone complaining whenever these creatives are giving back to communities. If the people want to gift her, then let them. Whatsoever she receives is whatever she deserves. Some of you don't understand the sacrifices people put into getting where they are and the honor they, are, they earn as a result. Let this lady enjoy her flowers and go plant your seed and water it so you can too. Ah uh, boy, somebody said, why y'all mad people using their own money and how the F is it weird? Somebody say, I can't tell nobody what to do with their money stills. Good morning, classmate. Somebody say, it's these people gifting celebrities for me. Ah uh, boy, somebody say, can't believe I woke up to my people pocket watching. Get your money up, not your funny up. And maybe, just maybe, you wouldn't have to wake up worrying about why the rich is always going to get richer. And y'all always and y'all will always be poor watching the rich. Anyway, somebody says sending rich people gifts so crazy and me they are poor. So when they say a lot of persons feel away because spice I get whole heap of gifts and them thing there, which gives equal money over upon TikTok once you cash it out and thing. Maybe no if you just think that anything is wrong. Me not see nothing wrong with it. People free for spend their money or they want to spend it because it's their money. If you want to give spice, gift her. If you don't want to gift her, don't gift her. Simple. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel, who is excited for his day in court. And Issa Buchanan actually revealed that information. Issa Buchanan also talked about the entertainer freedom. And, you know, waiting for doing surgery. I can't wait for get for doing surgery and all of that, is it? So let me get to this article. Only can tell me anything in the comment section, is it? So it's a Vibes Cartel anxiously anticipates new day in court. In an interview with the Weekend Star, the DJ's live Isaac Buchanan said his client is doing well, he's okay, he's awaiting his freedom to get his medical treatment and to do his definitive medical surgery. He said, nothing has changed, he needs a surgery and we know that. So that's still a live issue and that's my concern. The summertime artist, according to Buchanan, is still behind bars after the UK Privy Council ruled that his 32-year prison sentence for the alleged taking out of Clive Lizard Williams be quashed. The judge cited juror misconduct in its ruling last month. The appeal was heard in February. The case was also sent back to Jamaica Court of Appeal to decide whether to order a retrial. We're just waiting a final court date with the Court of Appeal and that's when we're going to make our next step, he shared. Following the March 14th ruling from the Privy Council, the internet and several members of the artist's camp known as Gaza Nation took to the streets in celebration. So yes, my people, so cartel just can't wait for forward the road and all so him, you know, for doing surgery and you know, get back him health intact and all these things, is it? So that's what's going on. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Joshi and Silk Boss linking up. You see my people, and of course, if you know what's going on, you know, so them two yeah, they that go at it in the past and diss each other and make song against each other and all them type of thing here. So it's a good look for see unity right now, my people. So you know, after end us it, even though what the Silk Boss I get a burn out over him, youth and you know. I don't know the thing about this so we're gonna focus on Joshi and him, you know, making amends and things. So this is what the article I say. 
Joshi and Silk Boss link up after lyrical feud. Young dancehall artist Joshi and Silk Boss are on good term nowadays after firing lyrical shots at each other in 2022. Friday night, selector and promoter Jiggy D shared an image and a video of both artists in a studio. As a caption for the post, Jiggy D wrote, Goliath and David, unity and strength, can't make them divide way. At Joshi Music, at Silk Boss underscore music. While the image shows both artists posing for the camera, it also has a song tag to it which, fe which features vocals from Joshi and Silk Boss. On the other hand, in the video clip shared, Joshi can be seen and heard freestyling different lyrics to the beat while Silk Boss, though barely visible, can be heard spitting out a few words. Based on the caption, the location, video and previewed music both artists are seemingly about to release a collaboration titled David and Goliath. Yes, my people. So, it's definitely a good look and as I say, I am all for unity because unity is definitely strength you understand hopefully the song you go on good on it you know sound good and all of that when you put out and thing is it so that or that anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is elephant man who revealed that him actually have 38 kids me not grow my people me never know so, so much youth him have me i wonder if that's true or if him just make up a random number but anyway let me get to this article and only can tell me anything in the comment section is it so it's an elephant man says he's father to 38 open to having more kids the energy god has developed a reputation as a father to a nation last confirming 20 children in 2019 a count increased by 18 while talking to peers on instagram live last week i have 38 pitney from start from me at 17 the pond river hit maker said my might ugly and all at that but the girl them like my bandy legs member i me climb up and jump off and the something them and the girl them say no man more that take a lift up from that black boy yeah. Remember the girl them see the attitude, you know. He further attributed his tribe to being young and idle while growing up in Seaview Gardens, Kingston. The 47 year old didn't hesitate when DJ slash producer Noah Power asked if he wanted to have more children. Oh, you mean? Then if it come, it no come, brother. We are talking about reminiscent of Ron Marley Math and how he ended up with 12 children. Ellie insinuated that he doesn't use birth control in relationship. You know, SEX a woman in a condom. The joke girl DJ said, You ever go to your woman in her house in a condom? You're in a trouble. Like Marley, he hinted at his diet contribution to his fit back, flashing a bottle of fruits prepared by popular herbalist Viva. The talented showman has faced much scrutiny over the years for his personal choices even battling claims that he is an absentee parent he addressed this in a 2019 gleaner feature we've been through it the bond bad mind artist said when you're a little youth coming from nothing to something people are gonna talk things but at the end of the day never make a rumor be true me take care of my kids but sometimes you and the mother have a dispute and you know how that go doubling down and not believing everything you hear ellie spoke about navigating the rumor that he had acquired immunodeficiency syndrome aids the advanced stage of the human immunodeficiency virus hiv the world health organization states that hiv which weakens the immune system spread through the bodily fluids of an inf of an infected person Remember me they are good one time and them say Ellie have AIDS. Me say where that come from? Me no dead me there. That's how people is. Me stay strong cause me the fittest of the fittest shall live and God no want no weakness in him camp. In 2020, Mr. Lex shared his reaction to the vile rumor in an Instagram interview with producer Coolface. Once friends, Mr. Lex said while he hoped the news was fake, it wouldn't be hard to believe. The full hundred DJ told a story about taking Ellie on a US tour after the latter scared him crew disband in disbanded in 1919 mr lex who was married at the time said he dropped his wife off at a florida airport before going to a strip club with ellie and others them time they we could appear for the go-go exotic dancers them pay for them nights and them take out the girl them out of the club so my pay for little six go-go mr lex claimed they took the woman to their hotel where they rotated them throughout the night at some point he ran out of robbers, you see. So anyway, my people, that's what's going on. <laughs> Boy, them brother, you have some story about Elephant Man. Say a 38 pit name of. Boy, people, I don't know whether to believe it or what. I don't know. 38, enough you that, you know. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Nigel Boy linking up with a top rapper named Jim Jones. In my people, Jim Jones, I believe him come from Harlem. Yes, he was also a part of the Diplomats crew with Cameron. Um, what name? Jewel Santana. A youth named Freaky Zeke and thing is it. So, Nigel Boy, I meet a lot of persons. The youth is definitely a blessing to dance hall. You see me? Nigel Boy was definitely needed in dance hall because the type of music we do is something we kind of, it's like a breath of fresh air. You see it? So, let me run a little clip here. Flipper Magla or Flipper Mafia was also there upon the spot as well, my people. So, yeah, check out that clip here. I want to be right here because you two on the States right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I want to be right here. Yeah, man, so big up Niger boy, you know. Me really hope that you to have, you know, longevity as it relates to dance hall and, you know, just continue to put out the good music. Them don't ever change. You don't need to put in bad words, you don't need to sing freaky song and them things that the people them love what you are do. So we just hope him not change, and I don't think he will change because I think Niger Boy is just this type of person where just love fiddle clean music, you understand? So, big up Niger Boy, my people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Rygin King, who launched a GoFundMe for actually help out some people with wheelchairs in Jamaica, like the disabled community. He might go do some other things as well. I think he might go buy like Pampas and them thing there. But like this initiative where Rygin King are doing my people, so you know what for talk about it and hopefully the people them go show them support and thing but anyway let me get to this article so they can understand what's going on you see it so it's a ragging king launches gofundme to assist disabled jamaicans two weeks after going public with his intentions to help as many disabled people as he can in jamaica dancehall trap king ragging king has returned to show everyone that he's serious about pushing forward with the endeavor in april in early april ragging king announced me feel like me need for the something official we can raise some money and send some wheels Cheer God Jamaica, urinal and them thing the pampas, food stuff, my heart willing but my flesh weak. So me I beg uno anyway, somebody for uno say this message out there and uno can help me, send me a DM. On Saturday, April the 13th, Ragging King returned to Instagram and wrote, Join me in empowering Jamaica's disabled community. We're raising funds to provide essential items like wheelchairs, diapers, bed pads and wipes. He continues, as someone who uses a wheelchair, I understand the importance of mobility. Your support can make a huge difference. Please donate and share. The initiative is being taken on by Ragging Foundation and has a goal of $10,000. US The description of the GoFundMe page says, Hi, my name is Matthew, a.k.a. Ragging King. I'm fundraising for help to the wheelchair community in Jamaica. We would like to buy wheelchairs, diapers, bed pads, wipes, etc. It continues, I'm also in a wheelchair, so I know how important it feels to not have mobility. We the people can help the car. I help to the cause. Thank you for your support in advance. So it's a good look, my people. Big up Ragging King and just go and do it here, man. Is it? Hopefully one day you can walk again and thing. And you know, if you can walk again, you still continue to do the good works and help out the wheelchair community and thing. Is it? So Mm -hmm. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.